go to the... I'll wait till you're watching and then I'll start. You're all good. God, she's got how many kids? I'm just, I haven't seen her for like 20 years. She's rolling around with the new infant born with two younger boys just walking by her. I'm like, no, 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 sorry, I like my TV. I've dated someone that had seven kids. That was enough. Three of them teenagers. Okay. Actually, I'll go to create a race and then stunt race. Once you're set, you got me on your phone, I'll pretty much show you. Oh, maybe I can do something here. These look even. I did not see the pool. Yeah, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Did he just ask you if you farted?
Because I think you did. I heard it. It went. <laughs> I really want to, oh, uh, yeah, ouch. Yeah, I want to show you the, uh, the advanced placement thing, because once you see how that works, and that's why I'm streaming right now, so you'll see it. Once you see um, how it works, it, it'll become easy, probably like automatically for you on the first try. I think you just go to uh, my profile and it should say uh, streaming or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, here, just go to PlayStation, to PlayStation app. Da -da 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 -da. And then you look for me. Either that or. Uh, Okay, yeah. John John started broadcasting. Because I'm streaming on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel too, but no one. I got like one subscriber. But that's because I got one John. video. <coughs> and you might, uh, hold on a second. And you might want to like turn your phone volume down so you don't hear like me talking at the same time because of, I don't know that'll kind of like either that or just well just it, it's alright I don't really hear it alright this is what advanced placement is phone uh, sometimes it uh, like it has auto rotate like turned off okay are you watching yeah. okay 
gonna go to props. Because if you f watch it through the PS4, it's gonna make you suspend your application. And you should be able to. Because you're under YouTube, right? You know what? I can go. I'll go on YouTube. What's your. Because uh, your, uh, you're under YouTube, right? Uh, John Snyder. J O N S N Y D E R. Because you're under YouTube, right? Uh, John Snyder. S N Y D E R. S N Y D E R. Wow, that's no delay whatsoever, really. S N Y D E R. S N Y D E R. Wow, that's no. It's weird to hear my voice over and over again. <laughs> Yep, it's under J O N S N Y D E R. I got six subscribers. Hey, uh, John. Yes, sir. Do you want me uh, to subscribe to you? You can if you want. Okay, I'm grab it. Grab it. So, are you, are you watching now or? Oh. <laughs> okay, um, look for, do, oh, okay, I was going to say, do a search for, like, John John's Jumps or something, and you'll see it, but you got it. Uh, what's the user? John Snyder, J-O-N-S-N-Y-D-E-R, or look for John John's Jumps. Hmm. All right. because I'm streaming right now. Okay, this is what we normally do with the prop, with something like this, for example, a tube. You can rotate it. Okay, push square to reset, I think. Okay, maybe, yeah. And it'll reset it. Now, what, uh, sometimes what you would think, uh, it's like maybe I want to, uh, put this, uh, tube, uh, like, alongside this, uh, thing right here. Okay. Like this. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Alright, so this is what I would do. I would select that prop. I'm going to do it to this one. And before I select X, you know, I would, like rotate it the best I can to line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you go to Advanced Options, Override Position, use override and now your XYZ's are your rotations or your uh, movements and I want to move it down this will move it you know and I'm gonna use uh, adjust left and right and I'm holding triangle so it's gonna speed it up a little bit so you can tell where it's moving left and right and I can let go of triangle and do left and right and does it slower and you can move the camera anywhere you want now because that prop is, as long as that use override is check marked, you can move the um, camera anywhere because that prop is locked. But what I want to do, see, I'll look right above it. Get it lined up. Z is the one that goes up and down. Let me zoom in here. 
right goes up, left goes down. Then if you need to, you know, you can adjust it. Now say if you want to rotate it at that spot, what you would do instead of pushing X right away to uh, place it, you go back and go to override rotation, use override, and it's the same thing, X, Y, Z are your rotations now, and you just got to, you know, you can uh, just rotate while the, that prop is in that um, spot. It's not going to go anywhere. And then you push X, and then back out, back out, and then yeah. your prop is placed. That's advanced placement. Five. So, I've, so you know, that way, you know, you can kind of see how it works. Maybe you can, like, start, you know, just messing around with it. And like I said, you can place props anywhere. When it comes to templates, let's say I want to... Okay, I'm going to place a platform. Sometimes I use the stunt track just for the hell of it. And I want to place... Let's do tubes. Now... I go down to allow prop stacking and turn that on. That way you can see the tube. And you can rotate it, move it around. And you click L, the left joystick in, once. And it can float. And the right joystick down, you know, place it on the platform. And go, and not float it anymore. But anyways, let's say I want, I want to make... Like, I'll make uh, four of these in a row. And I want to keep going. But I don't want to keep going like, you know, one here, one here, one here, one by one. Uh, I mean, pepper. This is what I'll do. A lot of people, they go straight into the um, template and, uh, you know, they go to create. And they go select prop, select prop, select prop, select prop. And then they save. And you can name it whatever you want. I just go GGG because it doesn't matter. And then you back out, back out. And now the category is under templates. And the first one, um, it's always going to say null, so you kind of, it's a bug in this creator, so you got to kind of look for it. But then you go to, uh, yeah, null, and you'll see. And it looks like a prop, it acts like a prop, and you can rotate it. Yep, you can rotate it anywhere you want. Th this you cannot, the templates you cannot. And you can't do advanced placement, so if you want to like, in a precise part, you have to like, actually, you know, really, you know, try to work your best on getting it. But then now, uh, what I'll do is, uh, if you're like trying to get it at, at a pre precise spot, like I'll do it. Oops, hold on. Props. Okay, where are we at here? Okay, I'll go on this side. Rotate it. I want to extend off this side. Now let's say I want to. Okay, let's say I want to uh, add, I'll zoom in, those two loops, the, the one that the cursor um, is on, and the one that I'm like, you know, trying to link together, I want to uh, place that loop, you know, directly inside that one, but it's hard to do because you can't do it because of the cursor. You know, that's the far furthest way you can go. So what I'll do... Is I'll go back to templates... Or...
category and I'll go to, and I'll, I'll choose a small prop and you'll see what I mean. I usually use the bench, push L3 to raise it up a little bit, place it, go back over to templates, oh yeah templates, create, and the first thing I'm gonna, oh create new, and the first thing I'm gonna choose is that bench. So I'm going to choose the bench, and then I'm going to choose the rest of the tubes. I'll save it, whatever I want, and now you'll see what I mean. We go back, you got to look for it, because you know they both say null, but here's the template with the bench. And now you can zoom in on the bench, because that's what the template's uh, center is, is, is the bench. So you just move the bench over and it automatically moves the whole template. And you can lower it until you're, you know, it's in it or wherever you want to go. Place it and then I would suggest you, you know, turn off prop stacking and then delete that, uh, that bench. You know, kind of save up on props anyways, because, you know, like right now, I already use 16 props, you know, it adds up. Okay, uh, when you want to change color on stuff, you have to be under uh, the category, any stunt uh, thing has to say stunt. Like set pieces, signs, whatever. And you go to any stunt piece, any colored one. And you zoom in on it, make sure the cursor is touching it. Hit L1 or R1, and you can straight up change the color without moving it. Okay, you figured out uh, prop, uh, prop stacking. Uh, we went through. Let's see. Uh, let's go to uh, the tubes again. Like, like we'll use a big ass tube. Okay. Like the prop snapping, turn that on. You can tell the difference. You turn it off, it goes anywhere, turn it on. Most of the time it snaps on there and you can rotate it as it's on. Okay, so that's the most annoying part for me so far is the fact that you know some of these props can snap on but then they don't want to do it. Yep. Yep, you'll have tr you'll ha you'll have issues. And when it comes to like something like a, a loop, that part's fun. Uh, I, us I usually use the track for like say the big loops that you've seen in the uh, loop race. All right, um, let me turn off prop snapping and let me raise it. Hold on. Like that's way up in the air. Yeah, there we go. Now <laughs> let's uh, lower that shit. Okay. Finish your whole garage there, you got freaking so then, everybody. We'll select the track that yeah. bends. That's all I have. I sure do have one. And when I mean bends, like up and down, like a loop. There we go. We'll do track up. We'll do a 45. Lower it down a little bit. Okay, we're gonna place it. We got the first one. Kind of line it up where you think it's gonna go. And most of the time, we need to go to prop snap, and it'll put it on. So place it. And a lot of times, it'll guess. You know, okay, you want the next one, like right here. You gotta move it, move it. You gotta kind of find it. Come on now. Yep, sometimes that takes a while. And if that does work, go behind it. It's all about angles too. Pers uh, perspection. So I'm gonna... There. Come on. And rotate it too. That's gonna help too. Like, let's raise it, rotate it. There, see, it's trying to snap on it. 
Hey, you should make a jump like that, dude. Yep. <laughs> it's like back to back where you jump up and then coming down you have to land on the other side. Oh yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah, I seen I've seen one of those maps before. Let's go down yeah. here. There it, there, it's there's an actual to. race about it. There we go. Huh? No. But anyways. <clears throat> yep. So that's how pretty much you make, you can make the curves that are looped. Yeah, is with the prop snapping. And if it starts, you know, wigging out on you, just you know, turn it off. Um, uh, I, I haven't even done one. Okay. Uh. Do you know how to do uh, like the starting checkpoint uh, to make it floating, like how you do an air scream where you just drop? Do you know how to do that? Okay. Uh, what about you know you know how to do like regular flan uh, floating checkpoints? What about uh, secondary checkpoints? Okay. So let's uh, go over here. Let's. Fr I will show you. All right, let's act like we're uh, starting to uh, forget all those props. First thing we do is place that trigger, right? Anywhere. Next thing you do is to place the first checkpoint. And let's, for this uh, thing, we'll say uh, two people. And I usually say no because it kind of shrinks it up a little bit. More room. Like and we'll place guy, it. Picking up the same quest. Now, it's like we're going to place the next checkpoint. Person. This is part of the race. The first <laughs> checkpoint you go, uh, starting from that starting <laughs> checkpoint, goes here. Or, it can go, you, uh, go to uh, where it says type, you go to secondary, and it'll say place secondary checkpoint up above that right there and that's the number one yep so you can either go to the left first checkpoint or the right first checkpoint and you place it and then it'll automatically go back to primary uh how would you what now Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Here, let me, uh, well, first of all, let me, uh, put this in, uh, point to point, because that lab shit is messing with my head. Okay, checkpoints. I'm going to make a bunch of checkpoints down here. Like, there, there's number five. Okay, there's number six. Now, say you're at number six, and you don't want to scroll, uh, for your instance, you're at 16, and you want to check out checkpoint number uh, two or sixty, and you don't want to go find it. You go down to cycle between uh, checkpoints, and if say if I want to find number two, you just click right, and it's going to go to each and every checkpoint starting at the first one. And there's one, and there's two, and then it'll bring you to that checkpoint. You just got to cycle through it. Now this is what the, uh, now I'm going to show you the test and this is what the secondary checkpoint is going to look like. If you have secondary checkpoints. Regular test, or regular uh, primary uh, checkpoints, if that's all you have, then when you click test, you're going to go into the test. If you have secondary checkpoints like uh, how I just put on with the, the two ones right there, when you go to test, you're going to go to, you're going to see this, primary track, secondary track. You have to test them both. So it doesn't matter which one you do first, but you have to test them both in order to publish it. So we'll uh, we'll test the first one. Uh, come on. Okay, we're, we're gonna try that again. What the hell just happened? Oh yeah, that'll happen too. It'll say uh, sometimes uh, Rockstar services are down. You know, you can't, you know, save or 
test or whatever, but that only, you know, it's only down for like five seconds and it comes back up. So if that ever happens, don't freak out. Okay, test primary track. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's making me test the primary track. So I'm starting off at this, at the checkpoint where we start the race. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the default too, is the adder. And there's the first number one checkpoint. Okay. And there's the number two checkpoint. Not the second number one, secondary, but that's the number two primary. And there's number three. And so on and so forth. Now let me, uh, Go ahead and get all these checkpoints here. Four, five, six, and she be done. Yep, right here. You've completed that one. Now you're going to see this screen. Go down to test. And only one of them is needed to go. Uh, primary track doesn't have that symbol. That means it's good. So you go to secondary track. Starting off at the exact same uh, starting point. You're driving. Now the secondary number one checkpoint in this race I placed on the right side. See how it's not in front of me now? It's on the right side. That's the secondary checkpoint. So you can go, and when they're playing this race, when they start off, they'll see both number one checkpoints. The first one and the secondary one. The primary and secondary. But they can go to either or. So, and then there's the uh, number two primary, then all the way down. So, if you have a secondary checkpoint anywhere, you're gonna be required to test it pretty much twice, both tracks. Once you complete it... Wow, I'm getting a lot of money today. You're gonna need to do a race detail, you know, the name, in the case I would say GGG, description, GGG photo, anything, back out, you gotta go to placement, the lobby camera, yep, and now it's also saying, uh, I, I still can't publish it, it's grayed out, and that's because placement has that little symbol, so I go there, checkpoint has that symbol, I go there, it means, uh, you know, I need. I still need more checkpoints. It needs to be like 0.6. It's it's still under 0.6, so it's not a valid race. It's not long enough. So, what I'll do is just I'll scroll. You know, I'll go all the way down there. Or how you can put the checkpoint wherever you want. But there's a the original finishing checkpoint. So okay, I'll pl place another one here. And see where it says race length, and it, on the bottom right hand corner, it has that little symbol. You gotta keep placing those checkpoints until that disappears. Like that. Now, it's valid. It's a valid race, it's a long enough race, but you, now you gotta retest it because you just added more stuff to it. Whether it's props, weapons, boosts, or checkpoints, if you add, subtract, or delete, or any kind of altercation besides uh, color change, you had to retest it. So you back up and see, you know, testing. So you would test the first track, da 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 da, test the second track, da 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 da. And then after that, after everything's said and good, that publish will be uh, ready to go. It wouldn't be grayed out. And you can publish it and done. So we'll exit this. And I told you how to make a copy of it, right? Of a race, if you want, okay. And then when you start, like, you know, getting, like, enough races, and, you know, you can make races, death matches, whatever you want. When you start getting a lot of them, you'll see, like, load page one. And you can go all the way down. This is all my shit. Where it says next page, or you can click up. And it'll go load page two. All the way down. Next page, page three. 
Uh -huh. And it's I only got four pages, almost five. Yeah. You only have four pages. <laughs> And then it saves. This is all, uh, yeah, it'll do that. But this is all the stuff that I'm kind of been working on, kind of haven't been. Like, uh, demo, the first one. You'll see on the right where it says last updated, 5-28-2016. That tells you, uh, when you last worked on that race. So I, I last worked on that race, you know, a good three years ago. Downward Spiral was this year. Uh, suicide Bomber Training uh, was in 2016. Zigzag was... That's actually the very first... Uh, the next uh, labyrinth I'm working on. And I'll show you that one too. So we'll go into that one. And then we can be done after this so you can go back to doing your thing. So I'll give you a sneak peek of the, the next labyrinth. I'm still working on it. Zoom out, hold triangle, you can go a lot faster. And it's going to start up here. Here, I'll zoom out again. Oh, that's fucking sick, dude. Uh -huh. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to put a platform up here. So since I'm in here, I'll do that right now. That's and, sick, and instead of trying to like search for the platform that I need, because what I need right now is that size red one. Here's a little trick. Instead of searching for it, I'll, since the cursor is over it, I'll place it, I'll pick it up, and then I'll push circle to drop it back. Once you do that, you can go to prop stacking or whatever, select that on, and then, you know, push the left joystick, and you'll have a copy of that exact same prop that you just picked up and dropped. So you don't have to, you know, look for it. So let me zoom in and make sure it's... Because I want it, you know, at least, you know, you can tell it's lined up with the tubes because it's in the tube. Now what I want to do, I want to make sure I... Okay, it's under the third one. So if we go like, not the right one, we go down this one, bam, you know, well I gotta take out that, that little platform there, but we gotta go back up or respawn. Oh, okay. Anyways, that was it. I'll go ahead and 